Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before advice to think twice um, my name is Monica and I'm here with your bi-weekly readings for the first two weeks of January 2016 this reading is for Capricorn I hope you've had a wonderful holiday season and I hope you have a great year ahead of you <coughs> okay thank you for being here with me um, and please remember these are general readings and so they may not apply to everybody watching and for private readings you can email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com um, and I'm just going to get right into it okay so for the first week of January Capricorn the general tone of the week <coughs> excuse me I've been doing these all day so I'm starting to lose my voice um, the general tone of the week is the eight of pentacles okay so this is really good for you this is the card of the apprentice okay so it's telling me that you are building things in your life okay you're building upon your career you're building upon your relationships you're building upon your home situation upon your finance financial situation okay you are gaining knowledge you're gain, gaining wisdom gaining resources at this time um, you are at the beginning of something and learning how things go okay so <coughs> it could be in your job okay you get a new job or you get a better job or um, you get transferred or relocated or whatever it is promoted even and you have to learn about the new position that you're in okay you have to learn how things go you have to learn what your responsibilities are you have to learn how you're expected to do things um, this is a lot of training coaching studying learning new things definitely okay and expanding um, your skills um, and your talents okay career and finances you have the king of wands so this is very good energy for your career and finances the king of wands is <coughs> fiery energy this is creativity this is inspiration this is passion drive dedication to the job the de de oh, Jesus, sorry dedication to the company you work for um, this is being inspired having a million ideas of how you want to progress your career this is having confidence courage to do this to take a chance um, belief okay in yourself in your skill set and your experience your knowledge this is definitely an energy where you can make things happen okay so definitely good things happening in your career and in your finances okay so um, the advice you do have is figure out what you want to do first put your ideas down on paper and then look at making a detailed plan and stick with that plan okay you make a plan I want to be a manager this year and you then put the details in place okay with the aid of pentacles what do I need to do what training do I need Where, what do I need to learn what do I need to study um, what kind of qualifications do I need get practical okay because you definitely you definitely have the drive you need and the passion okay and and people like you okay people are rooting for you so there is support available and there is guidance available so all you have to do is ask um, someone you consider a mentor or a teacher or just a wise person okay um, and they will give you very good guidance okay and also trust your intuition sorry home and family life you have the three of wands so home and family life the three of wands could talk about travel the tr three of wands is growth expansion you could be waiting to hear on something when it comes to home and family when it comes to applications 
for loans or homes, houses or whatever kind of application that you're waiting to hear on, um, you will get a positive response okay, to that and it will then be time to get to work and use the resources that you've asked for to make your home what you want it to be or your family situation what it is that you want it to be okay um, or the environment that you live in what it is you want it to be you again have ideas you've invested time effort money and it is now starting to pay off for you okay so um, this is definitely money coming in into the home investing okay in your environment in your well-being and again learning new things things you haven't done before you're experiencing them now but it's a very positive energy with the three of wands okay it's, it's growth it's expansion definitely we're in your um, love life you have the moon card so with the moon and the eight of pentacles it's telling me that you receive some information okay some things come to light you have some revelations um, or some secrets are being shared with you or some kind of information that you weren't privy to in the past is now being revealed to you and that brings you to a new level within your relationship um, where again you haven't been here before you haven't done this before you're learning as you go but you are developing your relationship as well um, it could be there are some trust issues there um, it's not trust whether or not you can trust your partner not to stray it's more of looking at the viability of the relationship and not being sure um, it can stand the test of time but with the moon card you need to remember that this is an emotional time for you where you may not see things clearly okay or you may perceive things differently or you may misinterpret information that reaches you so um, I'd hold off on making any kind of radical decisions for this week okay because even though information is revealed to you you still don't have all the information you need to make any kind of radical decision um, and also even though people are being honest with you you may misinterpret some things because you're in a very emotional place you're in a very emotional state of mind okay and you need to be more practical more down to earth and see things logically and look at the look at the details of things take them step by step and figure it out okay so it's not bad energy it could also be romantic energy with the moon card okay it could be that for some of you but with combined with the eight of pentacles it's like you're looking at the details of your relationship or you're looking at the details of who you are and what you think when it comes to love and relationships and what kind of partner you want um, and so the advice is look at things for what they are try to be rational try to be logical um, don't get overwhelmed uh, don't doubt yourself definitely don't um, put yourself down um, and just keep seeking information okay and uh, put it together but obviously don't make any radical decisions this week advice you have the three of, Gra of Gabriel which is the three of wands and the traditional tarot okay so that is a double message for you um, so pay special attention to the three of wands this is telling you that prosperity is arising from wise planning okay which is what we said in your career make a plan take it step by step time to ask sorry time to take the next step okay optimistic plans that turn out as expected okay so optimistic energy surrounds you 
positive energy, uplifting energy surrounds you, okay? Especially when it comes to work, especially when it comes to home and family, okay? Even when it comes to love, um, just, again, don't make any radical decisions this week, okay? It's okay to um, feel romantic and, and loving and all of that, but you have the advice of try to keep things practical, Okay, try not to get lost in daydreaming when it comes to your love life. That's another one. Okay, try to take a more practical approach to it. Don't have impossible expectations or demands from someone, for example. Okay, try to keep it close to reality. Um, for the second week... Okay. For the second week of January... The general energy you have is the page of coins. Okay, so you have moved on from the eight of pentacles to the page of coins. Okay, so you've grown. The page of coins is the scholar of the pages. Um, she loves to study, to learn new things, to apply what she learns. This is a lot of learning new things still but it's on a different level. You are more confident within yourself. You are no longer the apprentice. Okay, this is learning new things and being able to incorporate them and make sense of them in your own way. So making your own program as opposed to doing everything as per the uh, company policy, for example. You stick to it, but you make your own rules of how you stick to it, for example. So this is a lot, again, learning new things, integrating them, processing them in your own way, making sense of them in your own way. Um, this is opportunities for money to get better, opportunities for your career for, or for your studies. Good news when it comes to your studies, good results coming in for you, uh, whatever exams or tests you're taking. just positive communication when it comes to finances or your security and well-being this week, okay? So keep an open mind. You are again learning new things this week. Um, career and finances, the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups talks about an offer being extended to you, an offer that makes you very, very happy emotionally happy. It's something you've been hoping for uh, for a while and you you get the news, you receive the invitation, you receive the offer okay and that makes you very happy and it has a very positive effect on your career, on your training, um, on y who you are as a professional and of course your finances as well okay this is something meeting your expectations. The Knight of Cups is about expectations as well. So this is, it could be your dream job. Or it could be, again, something you've hoped for. And you've built up in your head. And you had expectations about that particular job or position or company. And now this offer is coming in and it's meeting your expectations. Okay? And it's bringing you a lot of happiness and contentment. Okay? Home and family life, we have the tower. So, there may be a shift in direction when it comes to home and family life. Um, it's positive because it comes as a result of the page of coins so it's news that you receive that literally shakes your world and makes you take a new direction that you didn't plan for um, I don't know what this is, it's going to be different for each and every one of you because you are all experiencing different circumstances um, but for example you had made your peace with the fact that you're going to have to buy a one bedroom apartment and now this wonderful news about your finances is coming in and 
it really surprises you and throws you off because now you can afford to buy the two bedroom apartment you were hoping for it's that kind of energy okay so um, it's something you thought is done and dusted and it turns out it's not really but it's in a positive way okay it could also be something within the family or within the home that has turned into a bit of a vicious cycle a bit of a negative pattern um, like everyone getting together and instead of having fun they start to talk about each other for example I'm just giving an example um, and now you have learned enough you have the knowledge to uh, turn that around and change that pattern into something more positive okay and so you are breaking that cycle in your family okay it could be that it, it's going to be different for each and every one of you but it is a positive surprise okay for you um, in your love life you have the chariot card so things moving forward you are free of obstacles you are charging ahead travel potentially buying a car moving in together buying a house um, this is definitely moving forward okay so the next step for you whatever that is for you if it's moving together moving in together if it's uh, getting proposed to or proposing if it is talking about buying a house together if it's talking about getting a joint finances account and putting your resources together um, whatever it is you're taking things to the next level within your relationship and you're again you're learning new things you're reaching a stage where you haven't been before in your relationship for those of you who are single this is you could meet someone, potentially a cancer, this week and things um, progress for you very very quickly you, you fall in love very quickly or you move in together very quickly, you've been dating for a little bit but you want to move in together or you meet someone while traveling they could be younger than you or be young at heart but it's definitely moving forward and progressing in the direction that you want your love life to go okay so if that means meeting someone then yes definitely that is a possibility for you this week um, again keep an open mind and keep an open heart okay because we are on the energy is learning about new things okay so it could be that this person is not exactly what you were expecting when you thought about a partner for you but you still get along very well okay so you're learning new things you have a new vision about a partner for you for example okay so it could be that of course advice you have for the week is the three of Ariel do what you love a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors working with others in a cooperative manner okay so great growth in your professional life in your career your finances okay do what you love and do it the way you want to do it the way you feel comfortable doing it the way you think it's best Okay, you have again support around you. The people you work with care for you, they like you very much, they appreciate you. Okay, so lean on them if you need to because they will work together with you. This is um, an energy of, of working together. You have support this week, definitely, in all areas of your life. All you have to do is ask for it, and it's there for you. Okay. 
Um, but it looks like you have new things happening for you, Capricorn, and you are learning new things. You're learning a lot of new things, but you are growing very quickly. Okay, you're catching on things very, very quickly, especially when it comes to career and your passions, your projects. Okay, so definitely keep it keep it up. Okay, because it looks very good for you. It's, it looks very promising for you, especially when it comes to career and finances. Okay, so um, please let me know if you enjoyed the reading, if you um, found it helpful. Uh, if the cards apply to you and how they apply to your particular situation, I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you haven't done so already, please like, share and subscribe. Um, I'd appreciate it. Um, have a wonderful, inspiring and insightful couple of weeks in January. Um, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you for being here with me. Take care.